Welcome to Nertacular 2013, live from beautiful Snowbird Resort outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. So Nerdtacular is this event that, uh, that we've now done two years in a row uh, in the digital video program. You know, compared to last year, it was, it was a little more hectic for us because we had a lot more going on, a lot more stuff to cover. Um, I had a smaller team, but more cameras. So that made things uh, kind of spread a little thin. We had a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of balls in the air, a lot of, a lot of things to juggle. Managing four feeds live, not knowing which cameraman is going to suddenly decide he needs to reframe in the middle of a shot. It's really harrowing. But by the end of the, by the end of the first day, we were rocking, and by the end of the second day, man, we were doing, we were doing some really complex, really cool switches between cameras and choreographed camera moves that led into each other, and, and uh, they're they're a great group. Real proud of them. It's a long drive up to Salt Lake. It's uh, roughly 12 hours, uh, including some detours and obviously pit stops and things like that. We laugh a lot. We have a we have a great time. We. Did quite a bit of singing along to classic rock tunes and telling jokes and just telling stories and, uh, and talking about the things we love, movies and whatnot. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Got to drive through Utah, which was beautiful. You know, mountains, trees. Even saw a little bit of snow, so that was nice. Last year, it was a it was a one day event. Uh, they crammed a lot into that one day. This year, they they expanded it out into two days, so they had. Uh, a little more air, a little more breathing room, a little more, uh, it was kind of a little more spread out. There were uh, multiple things going on. So in addition to the main panels, they also had the gaming room and the vendors area. This year it was in a resort. It was at the Snowbird Ski and Summer Resort. It was a more immersive experience. It was sort of, you know, 48 hours of nerdtacular concentrated into, uh, into one environment. My, my buddy Todd Whitehead was on the, uh, the media panel talking about internet radio and podcasting, and uh, so that was, that was fantastic. I have to say my favorite event was probably FilmSAC. It just overall relates the most to the field I'm in. I really enjoyed it last year, and it was awesome this year. Well, one of the cool events was guess what the poster is from Netflix. So the participant uh, would get blindfolded, and each one of the teammates will get to use one word to describe what the poster looks like. Some of the reaction was like hilarious. I love the musical acts. John Anilio, who was there last year, uh, he played again. He's always fun. And uh, the Andrew Allen trio, I, I really enjoyed their their stuff. Their reinterpretations of classic 8-bit video game themes was uh, was pretty cool. And uh, and Brian Brushwood, the the insane magician. He was he was good. He did all sorts of crazy gnarly stunts. So that was probably the most entertaining thing. For a lot of these people that attend Nerdtacular, it's almost like a kind of like a family reunion where they they don't see each other all year, but they can converge on uh, Salt Lake and uh, and get to spend a couple of days together. Uh, the community was really cool. It was you know a very close knit group, very small but a strong community. Everyone was very nice. It was kind of a everyone knows each other even though they don't type of community. So it was really neat getting to see that and be a part of it and film it and you know get it out there for everyone who wasn't able to experience it in person.